so we had the Rowan Dennis situation. Finally got the new pool installed. Finally got the new pool installed. Waterfield has been playing up, getting some specialists coming to fix it. Rowan Dennis pulls out of the Tour de France now. Could be wrong with some of the information in this video. Uh, just share as I know it. Rowan Dennis quits the Tour de France, puts his bike, goes to one of the feed stations, just parks his Merida back of the team car and says, boom, done, pulled the pin. So what's the deal? I mean, we don't know why. You know, let's speculate. We can only speculate. Rowan hasn't made a, if as far as I know, he hasn't made a, uh, a formal escalation of what went on. So let's just, we, we can only speculate. Uh, the team says he was fit, he wasn't injured, he wasn't sick. So it seems like more of a psychological or mental choice to say, nah, fuck it, I'm out, I'm out. Now there's talk about he had issues with his time trial bike, he wasn't happy with the position, he didn't, he didn't feel like he could win on his Maria time trial bike. I mean, for me that's psychological because obviously Rowan knows how to time trial, you know, and a guy like that is just going to win on any bike he fucking rides. So I, I think that it's psychological, but again, a lot of pro cyclists, you know, especially the high end pointy end of them, are a little bit, a little bit tweaked. And I say that not in a, a diss or a troll, or whatever. It's, just, it's just, you know, to be a really successful runner, swimmer, or cyclist, you've got to be a bit of a tweaker up top, and which is fine. But if that little tweaker personality gets the better of us, sometimes we can have little hissy fits. So I mean, you see me on camera when I have my hissy fits. A lot of that's trolling though, so doesn't apply here. But you know, when you're a paid athlete, paid to do the job, you got to do the fucking job, whatever it takes, you know, whatever that involves. Read between the lines. So I think Rowan pulling out of the Tour de France is a disappointment for himself, disappointing for all us. We're all, we're all, we're like watching these, these riders race. And so it's, it's, I don't know, it, it doesn't give good attention to him. It doesn't give good attention to the team. And I'm sure he understands that now today, but in the heat of the moment, it just, now some people say Rowan's a hothead. Now, I've, I've never had any issues with Rowan. I've talked to him a couple of times, ridden him a few times over since 2009 when he was a junior rider. I remember back in the day in 2015. So, uh, 20, 2005 rather. I always found him, you know, polite, friendly. I asked him a question about something, he answers it. I, don't, I haven't found any pretentiousness or snobbery. Some people say they have. I haven't personally experienced that. Now, um, but you're pulling out of Tour de France, you know, I, I, if he's going for some issues, Maybe get on the phone to Matt White. Matt White, in my opinion, and from what I hear, seems to be a very level-headed person. Now, there's a lot of level heads in the Tour de France, you know. There's a lot of crackpots as well, tweakers like me. But I'd say get on the phone to Matt White and say, Matt, I'm having some issues. What should I do? You know, get Whitey on the dial and uh, sit down over a vegan pie and have a bit of a chat about something. But uh, I just think that it was a bad move. What do you think now below? Pulling out of the Tour de France. I mean, Tour de France, that's like the dream ride for a lot of cyclists out there and you've given, been given that dream ride you've obviously worked for it done what it took to get there but you're in this dream ride and you're like fuck it i'm out and so i think you know and i don't think I, I know that that's not a good choice that's not a good choice for career for fun like where's the gratitude you know we, we have to go okay i don't like my bike my bike fucking sucks maybe i'm not going to win on it maybe if that's the truth okay who gives a fuck it's just a bike race if you get first or tenth you're still in it, man. You're still in it. You're still riding in the sun. You're still getting paid to ride. Tour de France, podium girls, yeah, all that shit. You know, like, just, just suck it up and roll with it, man. Like, meanwhile in Africa, meanwhile in Rwanda, Uganda, Ethiopia, etc. Meanwhile in Syria, all right? So I understand that some cyclists, they don't like their job. It's just like, blah, 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 team management, the bike sucks, politics. Yeah, that's just part of life. Roll with it. Fuck it. Put it on the, you know, just compress it down like a JPG file into something that's really like a little f a four kilobyte versus, you know, four terabytes. Often we have a problem in our head, we make it like a terabyte size, <sighs> breathe it in, grab the terabyte, whoosh, compress it like into a little JPG file, you know, four KB and just stash it in the back of your fucking head. Lost files. All right? That's what people gotta do. People gotta em empty the trash, drag it, drop it, whoosh, you know, it'll stand with the MacBook, whoosh, trash it. And this is, this is a great example. This is a great video for me to do. Do this to anyone. You could be doing the Tour de France and have a hissy fit and go, fuck it, I'm out. Grab the file, drag it across your brain, tush, compress it, trash it. You'd be doing something with your kids or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Drag the file across, compress it, tush, trash it. Is it really the biggest thing, world problem in the world right now? You know? We make things in our head bigger than they really are. Do not say this, do not do that, do it like what? 
You know, so some people will live and die by some of my videos, which is can be good, but it also can be bad. Some people live and die by the shit they watch the internet about me or whatever. You know, so it's, again, you know, everyone's human. Everyone has, everybody has their moments of like, you know, tweak, twerk, tweaking. Everyone has those moments. So it's just about dragging the file across, compress it, tr trash it. It's just a Tour de France. You know, it's, uh, I don't think it's worth giving up, but it's too late now. I, I, I think this is bad for Rowan's career. But then again, there's not many guys as good as him out there for the TT, so he does have a bit of leverage. But it doesn't mean we can be a suki or a, you know, some people saying he needed more rainbows on his bike. It wasn't enough rainbow unicorns. I mean, people are taking the piss now. <laughs> and, uh, and sort of, you know, a little bit humorous. So you got you to see the funny in everything. You gotta, you, that's the secret of life. you got you got to be able to laugh at yourself, laugh at the trolls, laugh at everything. Otherwise, in today's social media world, you will get chewed up and spat out real quick. All right? So someone said he didn't have enough rainbows on his bike and he had a silk. That's sort of funny. It's a funny joke. And I think we should be able to laugh at that. Um, but, yeah, you don't, don't want to pull out, man. You don't want to pull out. What else can I say? Whew, man, it's, uh, you know, it's... it's it's a crazy world. But if you do stuff like that, then it's going to get blown up on social media. And then you've got to deal with the consequences of that. But anyway, no, no you know, let's, okay, so he's pulled out of Tour de France. What next? I would say the take-home lesson is, it's just a maturity lesson. Uh, he's like 29 or 35 or whatever, how old he, Rowan is. It's just a maturity lesson. I've done some shit back in the day that I was like, oh, man, what was I thinking? You know, I made the file four terabyte. I should have got the four terabyte, <whistles> compress it down to that 4KB. Drag it and trash it, all right? It's not worth pulling out the Twitter fans today. That's just my opinion. I might be wrong. It's hurting some people's minds, but that's just what I would do. I would just suck it up, deal with it. If I've got to ride a shitty bike, I'm still, is, yeah. Is, is, Rowan ain't getting dropped because he's on a Merida. You know, they make the specialized bikes, maybe not the geometry of it. I don't like certain geometry of certain bikes, but honestly, it's not gonna be enough, you know, to, to get to get a dropped. No one's getting dropped in the Tour de France because their bike isn't good enough. Maybe they don't win. There's plenty of disc brake riders out there now who are just struggling with extra weight and stuff like that to perform. They can't, you know, they'll never perform, like, but, uh, because their bike's just heavy and rubbing pads and stuff like that, but they still suck it up and they ride on, even if they're, got, even if they're never going to win because of their disc brake bike. Anyway, that's another topic, another discussion. I hope Rowan learns from this. I hope everyone learns from this. Move on, move forward, move up. Four terabyte. Compress it, 4KB, drag it across, trash it, end of story. Get over it. Breathe in, carb the fuck up, get it done. Simon Geschke, also vegan. Ergen Banal, also seen on the vegan carb the fuck up program. That's another video. Let's do that tomorrow.